content advisory warning. This episode of Batman Arkham Asylum will contain scary creepiness. If you are a wimp, viewer discretion is advised. I want ice cream. Hello, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. In the previous episode, we returned to the intensive treatment area, defeated some bad guys, and did some super epic awesome things. And in today's video, like we said at the beginning, we're going to see some scary creepiness. So, you know what that means. Check your prisoner, dear. Whatever. Just be quiet. He's not looking too good. No, he's not. We really should feel sorry for him. He never fully got over his parents' death. It left him quite insane. What is going on inside your head, Wayne? <laughs> he's gone. Just a twisted shell of a man. He's all yours, Joker. Oh, goody! Come on, Mr. J, we're ready! I've waited a long time for this dance. Let's start the party with a bang. <laughs> Have I talked about how much I love the Scarecrow segments in this game? The first time I saw that, that was the moment when I realized I was playing one of my favorite games of all time. All the Scarecrow segments are so cool. 
and they have very different meanings too. The first time we were we encountered the scarecrow in this game was going over Batman's fear of failing. He witnessed Commissioner Gordon dying, and his failure to save his parents, and all the people in the morgue who will end up there if he doesn't save them. The second time is Bruce Wayne's fears, namely what turned him into Batman in the first place. And the third encounter is the player's fear of their game crashing, we restart progress, and this. That wasn't intentional, but you get my point. <laughs> Now the thing is, I'm not really that big of a fan of horror games or anything like that. I have played a couple of Resident Evil games and they're pretty fine, but it's not really the genre that I go to often. But I will say, moments like this where, yeah, the atmosphere of the game is a bit darker than other games I've played on the channel and things like that, but in general it's not that dark of a story. It's not that dark compared to, like, say other Batman stories you'd see out there, but Moments like this, where you take a genuinely not-so-scary game and then just have a little sprinkles of the thriller and horror elements in there, those are usually my favorite parts of these games. Like, you've got Econa Graveyard from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. You have The Ruined Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. So this right here, it can be a bit of a mean gameplay design area right here, because it, when you, if you die right there and go back, uh, your first instinct is to just start running ahead, but no matter what, if you start doing that immediately at first, then Scarecrow's going to see you, so you probably don't want to do that. And also, can we just talk about Scarecrow's design? This is easily my favorite design Scarecrow has ever had. He has the creepy mask. He has the scarecrow cloak. He has the noose around his neck. He has those syringes to make a claw. This is easily my favorite scarecrow design of all time. You can probably also say that for a good majority of the villains we'll see across the Arkham games too. Like, I was, I'm not too fond of the Poison Ivy's design in, in this game. I've mentioned it before. Um, but... Like, it is still a pretty interesting design, and it totally fits the character. Um, but Harley Quinn, I love her design in this game. She looks really cool. Joker is awesome in this game. Bane, I, I do like his design too, but I do feel like... I don't know, that one feels like it's one that kind of doesn't really fit with the rest of the game, if that makes any sense. So in, ge so in general, the Arkham designs for these characters, they're pretty much my favorites across the entirety of the Batman series. forward is to continue fighting. These scarecrow skeletons aren't really all that difficult to deal with or anything like that. It's just that there's a lot of them and they can be a little bit overwhelming if you're not careful. You're fighting back. Good. It can only weaken your resolve. And then we got these guys over here and they're not gonna be friendly. Throw a battering, look them around the wall, that should be able to defeat them. How much more do you think you can take? Does it scare you to know that I've all 
Continuously so fight the other skeletons, counter whenever you can, and keep an eye on the big guy. When he starts going for the charging attack, throw the battering, that'll instantly target him. And then you can destroy the rest of them. What upgrades do we got? We got an armor upgrade. That's gonna be useful going forward. That's everything else we can get right now. It doesn't look like it, so we'll move onwards. Why should he? He left brain out in the first place. So what's down there? Killer croc cell. Well, you've heard the stories. Might as well call it his feeding house. Same difference. No one goes in and comes out again. Why is Scarecrow going down here? Who cares? I locked the door behind him. He ain't coming out again. We can see in here the Scarecrow's lair. There's photos all over the Scarecrow, like kind of uh, stalking Batman throughout his journey. We get ones over here of a Joker coming into this one in the first place. So. It's the little details. This verb is awesome. But, to go forward, we're gonna have to go this way. We got some bad guys over there we gotta watch out for. One of them has a gun, and that's not very friendly at all. So, we're gonna have to be quiet. We're gonna have to do a sneaky sneak. Sneak attack and sneak attack! Oh yeah! I shall fear my awesomeness! Uh -huh. You thought you could steal that weapon? Joke's on you! And now we got one of these things again. I wish that more people played the Wii U version of Arkham City because, like, I know I praised it already in this project, but that was like one of the coolest things from a third party Wii U game ever. And it was the first year, and then they did, they didn't do any of their fun things after that. Like I remember when Watch Dogs was coming out, Ubisoft made a big deal about using the gamepad in that game. And my thought was that they were going to have like the bad computer and make that the entire game. But that's not the case. It's not that much more special than a map. And that really annoyed me because, like, Ubisoft was one of the last games. Ah, interview tape. Patient interview number one. So I'm your first, and I tops. Oh, you know what they say, you never forget your first time. I'll try to make it memorable for you. Oh, you already have. Tell me, why do you do the things you do? Why do you think I do it? Fame, notoriety. A desire to stand out from the crowd? A wicked sense of humor. <sighs> You're good. How did you figure me out, Doc? I've had doctors poking around in here for years, and no one was as astute, and 
you don't mind my saying, beautiful as you. Really? Why, you're just playing with me. Well, you'll never know, will you? Unless... Unless what? Tell me! I love this artwork of Hardy Quinn. It's, it's a very similar design to her appearance in the animated series. Now, I haven't seen a whole lot of the Batman animated series, honestly. I've seen a couple episodes here and there. Like, the big one that stands out in my mind is this episode with Kara Croc. Um, but I do want to go back and watch it because Kevin Conroy Batman is the best Batman ever. And I feel bad that I never raised all the much of a cheesy show. What's going down here, Rainy? Why's the boss let him walk around this place? I don't trust him. Just another distraction for the bat. It suits me fine. What do you mean? If the bat is looking for Scarecrow, he's not bothering us. And we may just get out of here in one piece. Good plan. Now that would be a good plan, but here's the thing. I don't like that plan. I like punching you in the face. So, in this area, you want to watch out because uh, the armor gates and things like that, if they open these, uh, they're going to have guns, and that's not going to... End well for you at all. So I recommend you keep going back and forth and keep an eye on which ones you're not and keep the camera locked on the one that you're not near by them. Um, to make sure that the henchmen don't uh, try anything funny or anything like that. Here are you and take care of you. This over here looks like a riddle. Are you a riddle? You're not a riddle. I've been lied to by my brain face. But yeah, this all goes back to what I was saying earlier about what I really love about these games. Is that you get to see Batman like kind of juggling back and forth between which enemies he's dealing with. Because while we're hunting for Killer Croc, while Poison Ivy is causing trouble on the island, now we have to deal with Scarecrow. Probably said this already, but Killer Croc just needs a friend. He just needs someone to love. Her. Too late, fat man. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deep darkest nightmares and you will never reach your precious venom roots <laughs> don't do it crane <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to see Scarecrow for a while. And with that, we're in the video off here. Thank you all so much for watching this video for Batman Arkham Asylum. Next time, we're going after Killer Croc. Thank you for watching, and next time, lead gear to you. Oh yeah.